The first of the five best passing plays in Madden 24 is corner strike out of the gun bunch strong offset formation in the New York Jets offensive playbook. What we're going to do is we're going to put our slot receiver on a corner route. We're going to put our running back on a streak and motion him outside. And then we're going to streak our tight end. And what you're going to see here is if they're running cover four or cover three to the wide side of the field, this short corner is going to absolutely torch his guy. And he will be able to get some separation against cover four as well as cover three. That was cover four. I'll show you cover three. And again, the setup is the same here. We're just putting the running back on a streak, the tight end on a streak. And then we're using a slot apprentice corner route to our slot receiver. What you're going to see is against cover three, even though that curl flat defender is going to be over there, you're actually able to free form that to the sideline. And I'll show that a little bit better here. And the beauty of this is you also have some concepts on the left, which we'll talk about in just a second. But what you'll see here is this right side is just absolutely lethal at being able to attack the sidelines. Now you might ask, as I would, what happens if they run a cover two coverage? If they run a cover two coverage, if they're running a double Mabel, and that is a 30 yard cloud where that corner is backed off, then your short corner is still going to be open. You'll be able to pass through that underneath that defender. But if it's a standard cover two and they're using that to try to stop your short corner, then your deeper corner route is going to get open to the sideline, as you can see right there. And as I said, you have some really, really good concepts on this play, especially to the uh, left side of the field. And what you're going to see here is whether it's cover four, cover three, this C route on the left hand side is really effective at getting separation against both man and zone coverage. And you'll be able to use this to attack cover four. You'll also be able to use this to attack cover three. A lot of times, what people are going to do is they're going to try to use a solo uh, wide receiver side. They're going to use that guy on an outside third, and this is going to absolutely manipulate that. Right there, I threw that just a little bit uh, too soon, and we'll do a nice little spin move to kind of swag on myself there in practice mode, but I will show you that again. And again, if you just wait on this route just a little bit, be a little bit more patient than I was right there, you're going to see that this is going to get really nice separation against cover three. So you see right here, just wait for him to go outside. And there, I'm not even freeforming it. I'm just simply passing that uh, to the left-hand side. Coming in at number two on our list is the play Durham out of the Gun Bunch Strong Offset Formation in the New York Jets defensive playbook. We're going to show you why this is one of the best passing concepts in all of Madden 24. This is really effective because if they are running man-to-man -man coverage on you, you're going to put your slot receiver on a slot apprentice post, you're going to drag your tight end, and you're going to put your running back on a streak or a wheel route. When you're running this with your bunch to the wide side of the field, I like to use a wheel route. If you're running this with your bunch to the short side of the field, then you might I might suggest using a streak. What you're going to see is your first read here is your tight end, and then you want to look to this post. This slot press post is going to do a really good job of being able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the left-hand side of the screen. And then you also have your running back route. So if they are in man coverage, it's one of the best plays in the entire game because they have to have safety help on both sides. As you can see right here, the running back is going to absolutely destroy man-to-man uh, -man coverage there. I kind of threw it a little bit too close for comfort, but if you just basically pass through that to the up and to the outside, you're going to be able to consistently beat man coverage. And we'll show you this also against... Um, two man under real quick so that you can kind of see the difference in coverages. So if they were to run, you know, kind of two man under style of defense where they're shading underneath and they're trying to get, um, you know, kind of some underneath help, then again, your main reading, your main read here is going to be that uh, slot receiver as well as your tight end on that little crossing route, super effective against man coverage. This play is also really, really good against different types of zone coverage. The most notable that I want to talk about as I throw my controller on the ground um, is the double Mabel. So a lot of people like to run double Mabel. Mabel, and double Mabel is essentially a double flat coverage with a user in the middle of the field, right? So the user is going to be in the middle of the field. And then I've got this kind of double flat style defense set up. They normally are going to signal it by doing something like this with their uh, outside cornerbacks. What this is going to do in terms of how we're able to attack this defense is we're going to be able to hit this running back as he cuts up the middle of the field. So you see right here, cuts inside. I'm just going to pass that down and inside. I'm not free forming that, just passing it down inside, super open against the double Mabel coverage. Now, not only is it open against a double Mabel coverage, it's open against most zone coverages, but the other cool part about this is let's say that the user defender decides, okay, I'm going to go user the running back, and I'm going to try to take him away so that you can't throw this route. Then you're going to want to look to your slot apprentice on this post route. So what you're going to see here is if they go to the right, try to take the running back away, then your slot, when he comes over the middle, it's going to be wide open, can easily possession catch that in between the zones for a really effective route combo. This is going to then force them into defenses such as cover four drop, and cover three and uh, all that stuff. So if they are in a baseline press cover four drop, this play is also really good. 
because again, your running back on this wheel is going to get open. And then you're also going to have this slot receiver. So as you can see right here, slot receiver gets wide open over there on the sideline. We're able to get a nice high low uh, between those two guys. Another really popular thing that people uh, have kind of started to do as people have tried to, you know, kind of trying to defend this is they'll go with this like solo side cloud flat zone. It's actually kind of rare that you see this, but in the event that you would see something like this, I uh, just want to make sure that you're prepared for that. So let's say that they go with this like kind of solo side cloud flat. And then again, they're going to, you know, maybe midpoint, try to take the slot apprentice post, you know, whatever they want to do. But I want to just show you here, if they aren't playing disciplined defensively and they're not using a hard flat, you can easily throw uh, this tight end route right in this little pocket, maybe jurtle up field, get about 10, 15, 20 yards against the defense. Now, another thing that's really important to discuss in terms of how this is going to do against other uh, coverages that you might see is your baseline, uh, basically your baseline cover three drop with a cloud flat on the outside. This is something that people like to do to try to stop the, sh the double corner concept out of this formation. And what you're going to see if they do go to something like that, a lot of times this quick throw wheel is going to get open and the rat catch animations are so good this year, you're going to be able to easily get up field and get nice yardage against that defense. The next play on our list is the double post. This is out of Gun Bunch Offset. It's only in the Eagles and Colts playbooks. This might very well be the best play in Madden 24 because of it's just it's it's a super it's such a powerful play. Um, so I'm going to give you two different setups, maybe even three setups out of this play uh, to be able to obliterate man and zone coverages. So what we're going to do here first, easiest setup of double post, and really truly one of the best setups of double post is we're just going to streak the slot receiver. That's it. We're going to snap the ball as quickly as possible. We're going to streak the slot receiver. What you're going to see and what makes this play so good is this post right over the top is one of the most consistent routes in this game and being able to beat man coverage. This is also a really good route combo. Please notice that my bunch is to the wide side of the field and it's kind of significant that it's to the wide side of the field because if they do run any kind of cover three or cover four, you are going to have potential for a one play score. As you'll see right here, just going to get this nice one play touchdown over the top against cover three coverage. Once he kind of crosses the face of that safety, this is going to be a potential one play score. Now, again, obviously you got to have time in the pocket and all that, but we do have some quick reads that I want to talk about in just a second. I do want to show this play against cover four drop as well. Um, cover four drop will do a little bit better of a job, but what you'll see here is once he cross again, once he crosses the face of the safety on the solo wide receiver side of the field, you're going to be able to hit this over the top. You are going to need a little bit more time, but generally when people are running cover four, they're only sending three people. So you'll see right here, wait for him to cross the face, pass lead left. And then if you juke one guy, break a tackle, you could potentially have a one play touchdown. Now, the beauty of this is it also has and comes equipped with a lot of different quick reads that are really effective. So, um, the first quick read here is this tight end, a little flat. The rat catch animations are so good this year. If you get that tight end, if, if let's say, for example, and this is actually pretty common, a lot of people do this. Let's say they go to like spinner at a dollar, for example. The tight end is not going to get covered. You can throw this little quick flat, get up field against some pressure. So it's a great little pressure release route that is very difficult to defend. Another thing that this is going to do a really good job against, let's say they're running cover three uh, and they're trying to, you know, maybe just leave the purples on the field. They're not playing hard flats. If they're not playing hard flats, you can throw this flat. And when they back off like that, you can really get this nice rat, nice rat catch animation, get up field for about five to 10 yards, depending on, you know, what they're doing in terms of their zone drops and all that. Let's say, for example, that they are playing like maybe a true cloud flat over there. Again, throw this, break a tackle, get up field, take your check down. Now, another reason why this is a really, really, really good play is a lot of people like to run cover two uh, this year. If you see something like a cover two coverage, a lot of times what's going to be open is this little running back route right underneath the yellow zones right here. And the beauty of that is, again, another little quick read that you can just make super simple simple route, but it just gets open against pretty much everything. Now, we haven't talked a ton about the solo wide receiver side C route. Um, the solo wide receiver side C route, you can use or catch that. So if it ever looks like he's actually covered, just try clicking onto the receiver. A lot of times it'll be wide open. The other thing about this is sometimes it just flat out beats man coverage to the sideline, as you can see right there, able to get separation against man coverage. And then one of the things that a lot of people like to do this year is they love to run like baseline press cover four, where they'll shade underneath and try to play hard flats. This does a really good job. The solo wide receiver side side C route because it's a shallower corner you can actually throw it that was a little bit of a poor example I'll show it to you again because it's not a deep C route it's a more shallow style C route it will get underneath a lot of uh, different types of deep zones so what you'll see here 
pass lead down outside, possession catch it, and if they try to KO it, it's not going to really work for them. Now, I want to go over this exact same setup, but I want to do this with my bunch to the short side to show you a later read in the play that I think is actually really, really good and might even be better to run this to the short side. So real quick, I did want to talk through the cover three aspect and show you that here, if we run this play to the short side of the field, you're still going to have a pretty good chance of this post route being able to at least get a be a big hitter for you against cover three. It's not going to probably be a one play touchdown because for whatever reason, that deep defender on the left might kind of roll back and defend it. Now, that being said, there are there are advantages, though, to doing this. So um, we're going to go baseline, press, cover, four, drop again. And now what I want you to do is I want you to watch this tight end. You're going to see that when he cuts up field, it's kind of a late read in the play, but it's super open. You can throw this against a lot of different zones. You can throw it against cover three. You can throw it against cover four. And so you're going to have to – basically, they're going to have to play cover two to defend this. And when they start to have to play cover two to defend really anything in bunch, it's going to open everything else up. You're going to be able to throw things like verticals. Again, I, I do want to want you to not underestimate the fact that you've got this little underneath in route to the running back. Super effective uh, little play here out of bunch. And this is the first setup that I'd like to show you out of double post. Now, the second version of double post, a little bit more of a left side flood, but you do want to be uh, to the wide side of the field, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak our slot. We're going to drag our tight end and we're going to wheel our running back. Now, the main purpose of this setup is to attack this coverage where they're going to put that solo wide receiver side corner on an outside third. Typically, that'll be coupled with some different types of zone adjustments over there on the right side. But this does a really good job of attacking cover three and cover four. So what you'll see right here is when he cuts to the outside, you just throw an outside pass lead. And this specific C route really does get in a soft spot against a lot of defenses. This is also really good against baseline press cover four. It's good against curl flat out of a cover three because we're running this with our uh, with our bunch to the short side of the field. And so just this is a, just a very, very good way to be able to attack the left side of the field from a short side alignment, which is pretty rare to have um, in terms of gun bunch. The next play we're going to be going over is also in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook, and it is the play wide trail out of the gun bunch strong nasty. This very well might be the best man to man beating play in the entire game. We're going to show you why in the in this uh, in this portion of the video. So again, we're just going to kind of set up standard man coverages, and then we'll talk about like what are some adjustments they might be able to do. So the first thing I want to go over here real quick. Let me just um, let me just put this guy on a hard flat to explain this. So against a cover one style defense, the setup is really the same no matter what. But again, we're going to take advantage of a trail concept that's going to be able to beat man coverage. So we're going to drag our slot receiver. We're going to flat our outside bunch receiver. We're going to wheel our running back. And then it's up to you, but I love to smart route this post if I'm first and 10 or shorter. So second and seven, third and five, love to smart route the post. Now the first read and really the main read that's going to be open against this man coverage is this running back wheel. As you can see, it it gets over the top of a linebacker, really hard to defend. It's a great way to be able to attack main coverage. So what they have to do to stop that route, and this is really important for the rest of the, of the reason why this is such a good play, is they have to put that defender over there on the right side in some type of deep zone, right? They got to have a deep zone to the right. So because they have to have a deep zone to the right, we're going to now be able to attack to the left with our trail route or our drag. This drag almost always beats main coverage. Please, please, please take advantage of that. That drag is super effective at attacking man coverage. And then the other thing that they're going to have to do, because they have to have a deep a, a, a deep defender in man coverage, chances are they're not going to have an underneath defender because their user is going to either have to go to that drag. And then if their user decides, I'm going to go to the, guard the drag route, then you're going to be able to either look between your tight end trail route or... Or this nice post route right there in that little pocket. That post route is so good at attacking man coverage. Probably one of the better man beaters um, in the entire game. Let me show that one more time. Didn't get a great look at that. So let me show that again. And again, a lot of times they're going to have to just use the drag because the drag is going to be wide open here on the left side. If your tight end trail routes open inside pass lead and then you just want to possession catch that. I'd love it if we I didn't even freeform that and I got a nice little inaccurate thanks to practice mode. But again, tight end trail route typically will be able to be open against man. Um, the drag will be open against man. And then this post route right here. I wish I, I forgot to smart route. Let me show it to you one more time. Um, this post route is really, really, really good against man coverage as well. So let me just get the, um, this is going to be just kind of a standard uh, two man under. We'll show you right here just to kind of show, show off the post route a little bit. 
And I'm actually going to smart route it this time. So you see right here, when he cuts to the inside, just pass lead inside, possession, catch it. It's going to almost always be open. A lot of times what will happen is they actually will play this in off coverage. If they play this in off, if they play that um, that post route in off coverage, it normally is even more open because it's a sharp cutting post. So you see how he kind of sharps inside. If you ever get that right there, just go ahead and aggressive catch it just to kind of keep it safe. Um, but it, but this this play literally destroys man coverage. Now, it is not the best against zone, but it actually isn't terrible. And the reason why is because a lot of people are going to run you know some type of cover three. Now, typically that cover three can look a lot of different ways, but I did want to show this. So if the running back wheel route, he's going to pull that outside third, and there are times where that gets open. Now, right there, it didn't because I didn't. I don't think I baseline and press the cover three. This will apply for like cover fours. Um, this is also very true for a lot of different types of styles of cover three you're going to see. But let's say they get in something like this, right? And this guy's baseline press. A lot of times what's going to happen is he's going to play the running back wheel. And then this post route will actually bomb it over the top. So as you see right here, and I'm not getting a great, a great example for you. So we'll just scrap that. But just know, like, I would look at it. I would at least give it a look. But really, in general, against zone, what we're trying to accomplish here is we just basically have high lows in the middle of the field and the running back wheel. The running back wheel will almost always beat zone right up that little seam pocket right there. Wish he would catch that a little bit better than he just did, but just keep that in mind. I mean, you just have so much on this play. Um, if they're not playing hard flats, three drag. If they are playing hard flats, you know, you can take your tight end a lot of times. Here you see, I mean, this little window right there, I know it looks a little covered here, but when you get in game, those uh, inside thirds are not going to run with that as well most of the time. Uh, but again, it is a read, of course. So if that's if that's not open, you, but you can throw it right in here as well. So just keep that in mind because you have, because you can throw that like before he gets there. So, they're going to have to make decisions in terms of how they're going to use her this, uh, how they're going to use this play. I actually really love this play against zone as well, but um, this play is just designed. It's just an absolute, um, it's absolute man beating dot. If you can, you know, throw the ball with some decent uh, zip on it, <laughs> uh, it's going to, it's going to beat man coverage a lot for you. The main read. And, and really, I think one of the best routes on the, is that post route right there, as you can see, I mean, it just absolutely destroys man coverage and it makes this one of the best plays in the entire game. The last play we're going to be going over is to play verticals out of trip side in. You can find this in pretty much any trip side in. Very effective. The main thing you're looking for is the routes on the left. If you have a tight end apprentice, you can put the tight end apprentice corner out there as well. Um, this, this play is absolutely incredible and unbelievable, and it's so, so effective. So uh, trip side in verticals, our last play. Guys, if you're enjoying these uh, little tips here, if you want to get access to my full ebooks on any of these offenses, just join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all the ebooks and updates, everything. We just dropped a brand new 4-3, even 6-1 defense. If you guys want access to that, again, everything is in the Patreon. Link is going to be in the description. $10 gets you access to over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks that will help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to improve your game, join the Patreon today. Link's in the description. Here's the setup for verticals. We're going to put the running back on a Texas route. And we're going to snap the ball as fast as humanly possible. The first read on this, if they're playing you in press man, you want to look to this deep fade over here on the left side. If they're playing you in press man and they don't have safety, safety help over there on the top, that is going to be a really, really nice read for you. So what this causes them to have to do is they are now going to have to say, okay, I've got to adjust to that. So they're going to throw this defender on the left into a deep half, which is going to then leave this crossing route here to the circle receiver completely isolated. And so you can throw this against man coverage as well as my man, Andrew Luck, actually totally the ball died on him. Let me show you that again. Didn't get a great pass lead there, but let me show this to you again. And you also uh, obviously have your, but see here, look left, safety's taken away. Okay, now we're going to look to this, and that's a little better of a pass lead. Unfortunately, we can't catch the ball. Good old, just the basics of Madden, man. This 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 game is something else sometimes. Um, but I can also throw my running back Texas, which we'll cover that in a second. But again, I just want to, we'll just throw the Texas here. Look at this pass lead. I probably should get off 2020 because I literally cannot, I just can't pass on this. I can't pass, I can't free form to save my life. I'm just not good at it. Um, Cause I just think it's such a hard thing to do to be honest. But anyways, there you see, finally able to show you that. <laughs> so if they don't have a deep half defender to the right, or they don't use her that, that is going to be wide open. So in this example here, we're going to now show you what it looks like if they use her the crosser. So if they use her the crosser in man coverage, then you're just going to check down to this basic little running back Texas. If you don't have backfield apprentice, 
then put him on an in route. That in route will normally be able to attack uh, this coverage as well. So you see right here, we're just going to pass lead that to the left. Rack catch animations are really good this year. So you're going to be able to run after catch for an easy, you know, 5, 10, 15 yards. Really effective. So now they're going to have a half here. They're going to have a half here. They're going to have half over here. Uh, and then they're going to use her, the running back. So we'll show you this this kind of example here. They're still going to they're going to use her, the running back over the middle. So now what you want to do is you want to look to this uh, this slot streak. A lot of times that route can actually beat uh, that man coverage. And really, what you probably need, which I don't have here, is you really kind of need a taller receiver uh, to be able to pull that off. But that doesn't mean you can't look to the tight end corner if the tight end corner's there. Um, you know, but again. If they if they that that's like the the ideal best way they can adjust to this and honestly the deep half defender on the on the right hand side I do want to show that real quick he can't stop this crosser if you throw it kind of right in that little window right there so there is a little window in which you can hit the crosser and then the deep streak over the top please at least look at it um, if he you know if they cover it a certain way a lot of times it's going to be open but. Because Tyreek Hill is short, um, it just doesn't run as well, specifically in practice mode. Very good routing game. Now I want to talk about this play against zone coverage and why it is so effective. This play is so good against zone coverage. And the main reason why it is so good against zone coverage is what you're about to see here to the left-hand side of your screen. If they're playing zone drops of really any kind, this is wide open almost every single time. Whether it's cover three, cover four, cover two, doesn't really matter. This is an absolute beam against any kind of zone drop style. So that was cover four. Here's cover three. Again, this is kind of zone drop style. As you can see, if they don't press him, it's open. So they're going to have to cross man him. They're going to have to adjust to that. Um, if it is cover two, do want to cover this real quick. Um, if it is cover two, it's a little bit tighter of a window, but just pass lead this to the left. And as you can see, it's going to get open against cover two. So it gets literally open against every single coverage in the game. Now, what's really important to talk about as well is if you look here to the left-hand side, uh, this we have this deep crossing route to the circle receiver. That is going to act like a quote-unquote big corner route. If we were, like, let's say in bunch strong offset, we talked about that video and uh, we talked about that play earlier in this video what you'll see here is the third will go to that deep crosser and it leaves this tight end open in this little pocket very very effective route now the way they guard that is they're going to have to play a baseline press cover four now if they're in a baseline press cover four sometimes this tight end can still get open late see if i wait on it wait on it wait on it I'm, i can throw that one of the big things that's really important to mention about this tight end corner route is it is a mid you need a mid zone ko to knock it out a deep zone knockout's not going to work for that um, another thing i want to quickly show here sometimes in a baseline press world you might want to try uh, to kind of throw this fade. As you see right here, it's a little swerve catch. Now, if they have deep out zone KO, they kind of got you, right? But if they don't have deep zone knockout and you catch them in a defense like this base, a baseline press defense like this, whether it be cover three, cover four, cover two, just free form and high point this to the outside. And you see it's a little kind of like a little swerve, a little rack catch animation that you're going to get. It's a little bit better against cover three and cover two than it is against cover four. So that's important just to kind of, you know, understand that. But they already have so much to guard on this play. And right there, that's just because Harold Carmichael is seven foot. Um, that crosser was actually open, which is kind of crazy that he actually jumped that. But let's continue through here and let's talk about some other coverages. So if they run cover two, um, a lot of people like to run double Mabel, right? This is going to be a really good route combo for double Mabel if they don't have a middle third. And the reason why is because this seam streak here you see right up the middle can potentially just absolutely shred the cover two coverage. So if they're running a double Mabel coverage and they don't have a deep middle uh, third defender, then this right here can be very easily a one play score. Might want to wait on it just a little bit, throw a little bit more to the right. But as you can see, I mean, he's wide open in the middle of the field. So you have that route against uh, cover two. Another thing you have, we didn't talk about it just yet, but if they're baseline press, you know, let's say they're running like DB fire two or something like that. This uh, this fade on the left, we're just going to pass that outside. As you can see, with the KOs, I love to possession catch these routes because the KOs will uh, actually be able to defend them pretty well if you don't do that. Um, so that's important just to kind of you know keep in mind. I want to show this uh, slot streak one more time. So again here, 
I'm just going to pass this inside, just possession catch it. As you see, if they have deep end zone KO, all right, good job by them. But a lot of times they're not going to, right? Um, so this play is absolutely incredible. One last thing I want to show you on this play is, again, this kind of chess match we're going to be in where they're going to have to use the crosser, and then they're going to have to roll underneath to the back. If they don't, this little Texas route right underneath the zones is super open. Again, I don't know how I'm overthrowing stuff in practice mode. That's absolutely, I mean, it's just a practice mode thing because I don't think I've ever overthrown a ball like that in an actual game, uh, at least since the beginning of the year, since they patched these, patched this. But especially if you're not free forming it, that's crazy that I'm just going to continue to overthrow it. Thanks, practice mode. Appreciate it. But again, just put the running back on this little in route or this off route. One thing I did want to say about this, a lot of people will do something like this. If you look here on the screen, I've got this cover two coverage, and then I've got the vertical hook. The vertical hook will match that number two receiver. And this is, again, why this is such a good setup, because if he matches that number two receiver, now there's nobody over here to guard the running back. Again, one juke, you can have 15 to 20 yards against this play. So absolutely incredible, incredible little play here out of the trip side information. As a little bonus, and thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video, I wanted to give you my best red zone play in Madden. It's really a concept. It can be applied to really anything. Um, but we're going to do it out of the Bills playbook here with the verticals. Uh, this is very similar to Vert's halfback under in Colts bunch. You could do this out of the play Durham in bunch strong offset. You could do this out of trips tight in with a tight end apprentice. Literally, you can do this out of any formation. But here it is. The concept is essentially we're going to use a, a, a slot apprentice post, and then we're going to smart route that post when we're inside the 10-yard line. So you see, especially inside the five-yard line, it's going to turn this into kind of like a slant route. Then what you're going to do is you're going to curl your backside receiver, and you're going to smart route him. Now, if you you just want that curl to be very as close to the numbers as possible without it being inside of the numbers, okay? Super, super important that it is not inside the numbers. And then everything else, literally is up to you on this play. I don't care what you do with the rest of the routes. The main thing here is this post route. You're going to see he's pretty much always going to beat man coverage. You're just going to throw it with the pass lead down into the outside. Um, and as you can see, really effective at beating man to man coverage. What a lot of people like to do this year is they love to play cover two with basically hook zones in the middle, either maybe blitzing from it or uh, manning people up from it. Again, same exact setup. What you're going to see here is they all kind of sit to the left and this guy gets wide open in the back of the end zone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. And I'd really encourage you, if you're not a Patreon member yet, to join the Patreon today. It will make you a better Madden player. You get access to all of our eBooks. And every time we update an eBook, you get access to it instantly. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.